like this salt. This is the good salt. It's, you get to catch on fire, so it's better than the other yep. one. I really like this one. Easy to use, and it's way more powerful than the other one. The other Wait. one was junk. Yeah. Oh, well, hello there. I didn't see you come in. You know, chainsaw videos, so hot right now. For most guys, an electric chainsaw is all you're gonna need, but not this junk. Now, as a guy who stands in front of a wood pile, you should understand that I'm an authority on this subject. I know a thing or two. And this is the right tool, but no Ryobi junk. Once again, oh, I can hear that. Absolute junk. Battery charged. Oh, it actually turned on there. So what in the world is wrong with me? Because Ryobi is junk. Which means we should stick with Ryobi junk. The other one was of course brushed. This is brushless. Got a fancy, th I don't know where the money goes in. Uh, it's got one of them uh, three phase motors, has a spark control. more cost into that. I mean, you don't need to go brushless to get this kind of power. We've had brush powerful motors for a long time. I think the starter on any vehicle ever. But this kid, hopefully not junk. I've heard good things. The old guy who got it. Shout out to Mark, viewer Mark, who told me all about it. Comes dead. Oh, but it comes with this four, t four amp hour battery. Hold on. Which is of a slight, oh. I don't know, I think I like Oh, yeah, these are both. Where's this? Oh, no, that's a three amp hour. Never mind. Comparing apples and oranges. Why can't I compare fruit? Manual. Good for burning. We got another one of these dingus chargers, whatever. One plus. Wait, 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 wait. Are they advertising the 40-volt uh, system? Because I specifically did not want to get the 40-volt. Definitely an 18. So for 169, you get this whole thing. And but for the exact same price, They've got the same saw, but without a battery. So as we discovered, this is absolute junk. But these, we've got two brushless versions. This is a 10 inch bar, this is a 12. Seems like the same price, but this comes with a battery. I already got the bar, the 12 inch bar, maybe. Ah, I can't. That is a lot. There is a lot more to this than what they had on that other one. Or is there? They about the same size there? A little bit bigger. More scooping. Well, not much to this. If this thing should die, and it probably will, this is just getting returned. I'm not going to deal with trying to replace the motor with weird third-party parts or probably the original who knows uh, it's still got that push oiler thing so anyway with this guy 169 bucks and it comes with the battery the charger and 
that, that's it. They also had one for 169. It's a slightly different design than the thing, but it had a 12 inch bar. But here we have a 12 inch bar. I'd be willing to bet they're probably the same internals. So let's see, let's drop in this battery full. Good. But. Oh, it takes a second to speed up. Well, we have not cut much wood at all. But, I already could use some tightening. But that doesn't matter because 10 inches, or more like eight, is not gonna do it for me. That's the new one. Eh? Uh, what type of lady? Uh, this is an Oregon chain and this somehow already needs sharpening out of the factory. Yeah, already a bit lame. We'll just hang that right up where it can't hurt no one. Oh well. Let's go cut some wood. Waste your money on Ryobi junk. I think the brushed entry level stuff, such as this, and this, are designed to last just long enough to get you suckered into the uh, ecosystem of these batteries. That's where the money's at. I don't know exactly what they sell this specific battery for, the 3 amp hour. I think I saw two 4 amp hour batteries for like 120 bucks over at the Home Depot, which is the only spot you can get Ryobi. But the individual cells in there, so there's a little bit of circuitry in here. In the Ryobi ones, the circuit protection and any overload protection is located in here. But, ooh, she needs a charge. As is that. But the individual cells, probably a Panasonic or a Samsung or something, they are dirt cheap. The Ryobi brush stuff is okay actually pretty good i have used this quite a bit as you can see she's getting a bit dirty as the tool should be you know 169 bucks here and i'm an absolute sucker i'm stuck into this ecosystem i got so much ryobi junk we've got old ryobi junk one thing i will give them is they uh same form factor the batteries since the nicad days so any battery from oh geez 20 years ago will work, or any tool from 20 years ago, such as this, would work. We got the, uh, the weed eater here, we got the 
grinder here. But this is absolute junk. I'd argue that the grinder is not really entry level. This has been well used. This is this is like a hundred, like a hundred bucks or so, I think. But this junk. I even replaced the motor ones. Standard DC motor. Pretty simple. The whole assembly was twenty bucks. They included the switch and the connector, so there was no guessing or soldering. Super easy to get to. Twenty bucks. And you're willing to bet the Ryobi has a considerable discount for buying in bulk. We've been making high quality brush motors for well over a hundred years. But last, this is not last, you let the smoke out pretty quick. Two motors let the smoke out real quick. Marty's stinking up the garage. She's smoking a little bit. Obviously, not a Skookum DC motor. Even Ryobi has access to Skookum DC motors. This, I'd argue not an entry level. This is like 120 bucks. And this thing is cut up entire cars and I've ground countless things. She's well used. No issues with it. Still chooches. But why? these electric saws so expensive this was 169 bucks this a bit heavier I think it was 169 or 179 either way we're in the same ballpark Ooh, I got that chain right and this has an internal combustion engine she's got a carburetor she's got a choke she's got a, she's got a functional brake as I showed you in that last video, over there. A quality thing with, what's that? Oh, a little dongle to keep your thing plugs from coming out. Yeah, carburetor, it's got a clutch mechanism. There's a whole lot of moving and precision parts that need to mesh together perfectly for this saw to work. And it does. So are we paying a premium under the guise of environmental leave? friendliness, which is, but look at this. First of all, 300 bucks. Does it even include a battery? Oh, it does include one five hour battery. Nice. There be's the battery. But look at this. That is non-standard. That's just a trimmer. This is the cheapest one they got in the electrics. But looking over here, certainly we can get in the more professional use on these. But, I think this is the lowest one. The entry level, side handle, steel. The best you can get. Cheaper, more powerful. We are paying for greenness. For that $2.99 in the Ego, it even has the green color. Lots of green there. I mentioned this one here, a DeWilt, only 160 bucks. No battery though, but every bit as green as those units. We're paying for the name, we're paying for the green. Because although, well first of all this is all plastic, there's some metal in that saw and a plastic cover on it, which is uh, renewable as you know. But these, maybe they're all right when you actually recycle them, use them properly, etc. They end up in landfills. And Ryobi batteries are not the best, in my opinion. I would argue that these are not a green product at all. This is a bulk of plastic, and of course, lithium ion here. And even if this were greener, the emissions of a chainsaw are, I think, negligible. 
These cordless saws are an absolute ripoff. Certainly there is a case for them. I mean, this is handy. This is lighter than the gas unit. I don't got to deal with gas or mixing or anything. And it's just ready to go right away. Perfect for camping. It's a good tool for that. Well, let's compare fruit. The Ryobi brushless saw, the 12 inch. This guy, 169 bucks. Similar corded saws. This saw in a 12 inch comes without the battery, so we're not considering the value of the battery or anything. But a similar corded saw, plugged into the wall, of the same power, like 13 amps or something. Same size. It's also brushless, by nature of being an AC motor, it's brushless. Uh, that's not a buzzword for Bosch, it's just basic three-phase motor. It's not complex, we've been working these things for also 100 years. In fact, Ryobi themselves sells a 16-inch, it's even bigger than this, more utility, corded saw for 90 bucks. So between this and the corded one, like I said, we're comparing fruit, apples and oranges here. That's 70 extra dollars. So where is the extra... 70 bucks on this. So a steel MS-170, and that is the smallest chainsaw you can get from steel, is the same price as this. It's 16 inch, and this is certainly not as capable as that steel saw. And this is about the cheapest saw you can get. And actually, uh, this is outside of the usual suspects. I think Harbor Freight has a Bauer, what, Harbor, I don't know, a Cherokee, whatever they call it nowadays, for like 70 bucks, no battery included. So you're looking at 100 bucks to get into the ecosystem. Where is that money going? This is the cheapest one you can get. You start getting into the 40 volt system that also Ryobi sells, or Works or Greens or whatever they call it, and you're in, you're in the hundreds of dollars range, hundreds, for something not as capable as the cheapest steel saw. It's a name brand, high quality stuff. But you can get. You should not buy a cordless saw. What you should do is like, comment, and subscribe.